Tom, uh, how's it feel waking up this morning having knocked off Richmond and really proved yourselves as you've won back-to-back -back games? Yeah, I guess certainly um, fantastic to win two games in a row since you know a few years now. But um, yeah, we felt like you know they, they played a good brand of footy and we just probably outlasted them for the duration of the game. And yeah, we've probably had a good month of footy and um, yeah, it's good to see that we're, we're putting some results and getting some wins for some effort, which um, you know it's it's been a while since we you know we probably played consistent week in week out footy. So um, yeah, we're just hoping to bring that you know going forward for the next. You know, 18 plus rounds, 17 plus rounds. Hopefully, you must be pleased because not only winning the game, but you're in control. They would kick a couple, you'd steady. Um, probably something, not something you've done the last few years. Yeah, it was certainly sort of felt like um, a mature win. Like it felt like just had a lot of contributions from a lot of blokes, and um, you know maybe boys were having quiet games, but still had their moment in the third or fourth quarter when the when the game was still hot. So yeah, it's just awesome to get um, 22 contributors. Um, it's sort of hard hard to lose a game or hard to not be in a game when you've when you've got that amount of blokes playing good sort of Melbourne brand footy. Just the spirit of the boys too, like we, we did say in Malay, but I suppose that you're not going to take a backwards step, you're not going to be bullied anymore, is that sort of showing the competition? Oh, it was a bit of spite in the game, I guess uh, the build up was pretty big and it's a fixture that we sort of want to want to put ourselves on for years to come, so um, yeah, I, I guess every game's important, but um, you know, playing Richmond, big crowd, I guess, you know, a fair bit of emotion out there, it was good that we stood up for for mates in situations and um, yeah, probably didn't affect the result of the game at all, but uh, good to show the supporters that we're, we're really sort of invested in, in the game. Might affect some wallets though. Some of the boys might be a little bit poorer. They might be asking for some loans next yeah, week. Yeah, we'll have to shout a few coffees this week, I think. There's a <laughs> couple of boys are a bit nervous waiting to, to hear from uh, Josh Marnie. <laughs> that Viney really seems to typify that, that harder edge. How, how, I guess, your thoughts on where he's been able to take his game to? Yeah, he's just, he's just in super condition, so he just wills himself from contest to contest. And obviously, he's just, just an animal in there, and he's, uh, he's just a bull to gate. So, he, um, yeah, he's just good to play with, mate, honestly. And um, we've got Big Maxi in there, and, and obviously, Nate does what he does. And there's a good mix of um, even Clary's had his moments in there, and Gus, and there's just, you know, blokes you can throw in and trust. So, um, you always see the good sides have a lot of depth through the midfield, and we're starting to build that. What did you make of Maxi's game up close? Yeah, he's, we'll have to shout him a few coffees. He was, um, he was tapping him down. He look, makes us mids look pretty good at times. So he's just, he's just had a pre-season, I, I think. That would be my way of summing it up. And he's just fit and he's got confidence and he's, he's marking the ball at full stretch and he's 208 centimetres and he's long, so it's hard to stop. And, um, yeah, I'm really loving the way he's playing footy and I reckon he can still improve for sure. He said he's getting a few looks on Brunswick Street. Any truth to that rumour? <laughs> that beard, he plays it up. Oh, he, uh, <laughs> it's all about him with that beard, actually. Um, no, nah, he's, he's a bit of a hipster, mate. He's trying to start a cafe up soon, so he's, he's playing that sort of mould and stereotype pretty well. What did you make of, of your own performance? Some people said last night, perhaps your best for the days. Yeah, it felt like it was uh, yeah, good to contribute. Um, sort of been building towards a game like that for a few weeks, I think. And... Um, yeah, we've just we've just got depth through there, so it doesn't have to be any one bloke starring on a particular week. It's just um, you know contributions, and we we feel like if majority of us contribute, we're going to win the game of footy at the moment. So um, good feeling to have. You yeah. mentioned there was a bit of spite in the game. In the end, um, Rance lashed out at at, at Watsy. What did you make of that? Yeah, obviously uh, frustration uh, probably built up for him. I can't speak for him, but sort of looked like that. And it was good to see. I think Jack was first on the scene and, and looked after Watsy. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll let the match review panel sort that out. And um, as far as we're concerned, I think we got 50 metres in a goal. So we'll, we're pretty happy. I know you said there was a bit of spite in the game, but do you reckon that was just too far from Rance? Uh, it probably was a moment of, of frustration that I think he'd, if he had his time again, he'd take back. Um, but yeah, certainly I can't speak on behalf of him, but yeah, we were, I guess, happy with it. What's his fine and we got a goal out of it, 50 metre penalty. So um, yeah, for the outcome was positive for us. Have you spoken to Jack this morning? Has he got a bruise or anything like that? Haven't seen him yet this morning. He'll, um, he, I guess he might be missing a little bit of a headache or something like that, but um, the win makes it all a bit better. And just, um, I guess, Jack's reaction to that, as in, as in Viney, you're you know, flying the flag. It's not wanting to preempt anything, but you'd almost take whatever you got, sort of just showing that you're not going to take a backward step. Yeah, I guess um, yeah, you got to show emotion, and mm. it's a it's a game of emotion at times as well. So and passion. So he's he's probably the bloke that plays with the most passion and emotion out there. So um, yeah, certainly we we feed off a bloke like Vines out on the field a lot. So um, yeah, he's just going about his footy really, really, really well at the moment. How 
important the last two weeks against big clubs for the for the confidence for the psyche of the group? Uh, yeah, I guess um, yeah, we've had some decent crowds the last two weeks, and it's good to to play well in front of our supporters and um, get them on board, and and they're being fantastic and loud at the games. And oh, I guess every game, um, we, you know, we feel like at the moment if we prepare well and and do our homework and, and you know we're, we're switched on and give that 120 minutes it's going to be you know we're going to give the opposition a real tough contest and you've just ticked off another one of those those hoodies that you sort of carried around for a while that the back to back is that is that another thing that just is a tick in the box for you oh it's not necessarily spoken about but i'm sure most players are aware of it so it's certainly you know just another little thing that i guess you you can just take off the back but um yeah it's not, not nothing too major tommy bugs the guy likes to play on the edge when he starts pointing at the crowd and telling the Richard Cheese squad to shush do you, do you guys have to say anything to him or do you just um, letting you keep, keep playing the way he is? Yeah, I guess he, he, he's another guy that plays a lot of passion and emotion. Um, he's a bit of a pest at times. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's just you know buggy being buggy as far as I'm concerned. And um, if the, the coaches aren't happy with that, I'm sure they'll let him know. And, um, I guess, you know, it's, you know, as I said, it was a build-up big week and, a lot of emotion and, and you know sort of you know a few spot fights out there so it was yeah just just nothing too too big and another pretty excitable fellow Petraka sounds like he played a pretty good game in the Reds has he been telling everyone about it yeah he's not quiet about it so he's um <laughs> he'll uh, I guess he'll be trying to knock the door down again this week but um we've just got good depth at the moment there's a lot of blokes that um you'd be confident that could come in and, and contribute to the 22 easily so um yeah good position to be is he someone you'd like to play with? He just seems like a really fun sort of guy from the outside. Oh, he's certainly a lovable guy and energetic, and um, yeah, certainly you know a lot of guys like to be around him. Um, he's uh, he's he's going to be you know a really good moment. You know when he plays that first game and kicks that first goal. You know obviously he's had the ACL and he's just his personality is you know type of guy that you you really look forward to seeing get out there.